so we've we've got this on its way to Jewel, but we've got that Bop and Paul mission. So we're not gonna follow this just yet. We're going to go back to well, let's save this since we've launched it, and then we're going to go back to the VAB and cook up what we need for those. So sample survey of the strange fossil on Bop. And then, so that's a precision landing, and then this needs the radiation observation. And we're not gonna send a Kerbal this time. I'm sort of tempted to, not that small a rover. Uh, send a rover, but a big rover. Maybe we can start with this though. What we do need is the radiation experiment and the arm for the sample. I can't even test it. How do I know if it can grab a sample? Well, I'm gonna test it on the runway. I don't know how it actuates and it doesn't let me try it out in here, it seems. Yeah. Uh, and then the radiation thing is heavy. <laughs> um, well, and th that's alright. We're gonna make this bigger. We're gonna make everything big. This is just a probe core. We're not gonna leave it like this. We need clearance. Doesn't seem like a huge amount of clearance. Seems very firm though. But now. Now we get serious though. How much does a landing on Bob take? Or Paul? Fine. Bob surface 230 once we get into orbit, so that'd be nice. Maybe we should just put this horizontally. Okay, there's a node right there. Why are you going to every other one? Fine. Hopefully it doesn't say, no, I'm obstructed, we can't use, and we can't uh, be used. Okay, so how heavy is that anyway? 2.43 2 tons, but that's because of the fuel. Okay, where's the center of mass? Right, no, that's good. Uh, let's move you a little bit forward two thousand meters per second well you know that could probably land on Bob and Paul if treated properly but we probably want a few other things on here like a reaction wheel I'm just gotta tuck that truss in <laughs> like that's not gonna cause a problem Shall we have lights? Well, we don't have any way of powering this right now. Let's deal with that first. Um, we haven't unlocked the RTGs, but we probably ought to. This is going to Jewel. It's not going to get much solar power. Oh, it's only 1.31 thrust weight ratio on Bob. That's weird. Well, I thought that the ants would do better there. Hmm, okay, maybe we need more ants then. Paul. It's 2.06 on Paul. Paul and Bop are bigger than I thought they were. I don't think the center of... Yeah, it really wasn't meant for this business. <laughs> There's too small for those icons. But I'm gonna try and line it up anyway. Okay, so long range generation. Costs 2,300 and we've got 4,008, so all right. Seems like we need it now. Stones throw away from nuclear power. But it should have a mothership too, so we're going to have a docking port at the bottom. Which means we also need RCS. <laughs> really packing a lot onto this little guy, huh? RTG. How heavy are you? Okay. How much power do you produce? Oh. Hmm. Well, they seem to want to go right there. How about two? Well, as long as you're okay there. Well, I think it's better if you guys are further up, though. Yeah, it makes a Geiger counter sound when you're holding on to these. So we'll have a mothership. Now, but let's test it first. Let's test it on the runway. 
Okay. Let's see how it's off road. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of ground clearance, though. 25 meters per second around here. Of course, in lower gravity, it'll have less grip, but how much less grip? In a pinch, we can use our Delta V to go from one place to another, though. Okay. Say so we stop there. Run surface survey. Wah! Okay. That was not the direction I was expecting it going. Okay. Alright. Alright. Um, so we need to actually turn it. All right. Why did you pause? Why does it pause though? I don't understand why it paused. Give me all the science, darn you. Resume that too. It keeps pausing. Left valid region. I guess it doesn't like being at the space center. I don't know. Okay. We're gonna recover a vessel. Hmm, so how are we going to place this? I think we'll have a cross truss here. Okay, well moving it like that didn't hurt too much. Let's see how it deploys exactly. Oh, okay. Now it did it properly. All right. Takes all of our data, yeah, all of our power units, though. But I mean, we could just recover it. But I want to see the RTGs at work too. But does that mean that this puppy couldn't run because it was obstructed, or was it because? It was in the wrong place. Oh, it seems happy here. But we're losing too much power. We'll need more batteries. Well, there's no telling how much the bop signs might be. So I'll put four. This needs to be independent and also capable of docking with that. Well, I want the efficiency. Oh, it seems like a lot of Delta V. Okay, let's have some mod propellant and RCS. And before I forget, let's put an antenna on here too. And the antenna and RTG, can they counterbalance each other? 0.05. It's close. Okay, the RCS, we have to make sure, and we're gonna test this theory out, that it's not going to be doing pitch yarn rolls, so now if it messes up, it's because the whole control scheme is messed up. Okay, but we want this to be balanced so that it doesn't have that excuse. Yeah, you made it in balance so the RCS didn't have a chance. Well, first of all, it should work anyway, but we need 0.25 tons over on this side somehow. Something useful. Well, it could use more batteries. Um, one of those and one of those will make it. Okay, so then it should be balanced. To a rough approximation. So, should be able to dock with that. Has comms, has an RTG for recharging. Has plenty of Delta V. Well, okay, hold on a sec. It's counting the delta V of the rover as part of it. Let's not have fuel cross feed there. Okay, now it's got 878 meters per second for the rover. But now it says 1,784. I think it's because the it's counting the dry mass of this, so I guess it'll be alright. It's like the rover is trying to push the whole thing, including that. 16 tons. I mean, I feel like whatever rocket we put underneath this could probably do more than 16 tons. But we'll reserve everything with this stage, the coronet stage, 
for when we get to Jewel. Then we'll have another transfer stage here. Two will be fine here. Okay, well, that's a little bit light for that. We can put a little bit more. But we don't have a really slim large tank. We have this slim medium tank, but we don't have one like that for the large tanks. So maybe we'll just take the 3,300 there. Rhino's not bad at sea level. Keeping it really simple here. But it doesn't have enough thrust to weight ratio to get off the ground. Maybe just straight up mammoth it. That's real simple. Uh, but 2,442. Well, it doesn't have enough Delta V anyway, so we'll add boosters. Yeah, I don't know about this Delta V. Surely the core will use some of its fuel while it's burning. Um, hmm. Okay, well, this Bop Rover launch. Launch. Probably wanted to be rotated 90 degrees, but that's okay too. All right, let's go. Uh oh, our control unit is in the wrong place. Just hold steady for a sec. Um, where's the other control? I said hold steady. This doesn't look like we're holding steady. Oh boy. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Uh, um, pods. Uh, control from here. Up. Up. Oh no, it's the wrong way around. No, control from here. It's too late. I think it's upside down. How do I tell whether this is backwards? Surely this being made by Kerbals is that this way is up indication somewhere, right? But what if that wasn't the problem? Well, let's see with the dots. Well, it seems like the bars are at the bottom. I think that's different from the way it was before. Okay, uh, we also would like to, I guess we'll route to it, but outside we'll be able to control from there. I'll just have to remember to do that. Okay, now, poking in. Oh, or we don't have to poke in. Parts list. Parts list. Parts. Here. Okay, well that looks good. Well, we're past the speed of sound and everything. I don't feel like I want this tagging along. So, let's drop the fairings. Try that again. <laughs> okay. But 800 is a bit. Uh, we should be fine without it. Tuba. Okay, let's go to Jewel. Oh yeah, uh, that that that'll be uh, just an inclination change. We'll take that. Okay. Into daylight, please. Okay, I think it'd be better if I go now. Oh, we overdid it. Okay, that'll be safe around Jewel. So that'll be our mid-course correction with this. And so that's our two missions that we're sending out to Jewel. Let's uh, go ahead and do the mid-course correction. So this is in 281 days. And... That's the other one. This is afterwards, so we have to do that first. So this is going to lathe. 
the contract for that is just to light a jet engine there. So, well, this is well suited to that. Okay. I don't like when it gives me that thunk, which I, in previous versions of KSB2 I associated with something exploding. Okay, so we are time warping. This has RTGs, so we don't have to worry about the power too much. Okay, let's... We can fix that and get closer once we get there. Okay, so the probe is on its way. Well, probe. The uh, rover, but it is a probe core. Let's deal with the plane. Uh, I think we'll just do a correction when we get to Jewel. Unfortunately, I don't think we can plot it right now because I can't click this orbit at all. So we will wait. Uh, the probe, the rover is getting there first. Let me try and let me focus on Jewel and click the sword. Nope, we can't do that. So we'll see whether we can do that when we get there. But I think the probe is getting there first. Let's see. Um, this one's Jewel periapsis is one year and 17 days. And then we'll check the probes. 418 days. So this is first. I'll take that periapsis. Mm, uh, so, yeah, we can leave that loose. The space plane has entered Jules SOI. We should get to that and change its course so that I can get that leaf encounter first. Uh, this will take some time to get to that apoapsis. Let me create a maneuver node that's 31 days. And at that point, we actually just want to go to BOP. So, BOP. Maybe you can encounter it at that descending node? Okay, I could keep tweaking that, but we'll just leave it be. Alright, so in 31 days, we've got that. Can we tempt you into interacting with us, Lathe? Hmm. Well, apparently that capture is not happening. Oh well. So yeah, Lathe is not going to help us after all. But maybe. Oh, that's crushing. Maybe higher up then? Let's see. It stands to reason at some point Leaf is going to mess with us. Oh, there it is. Well, that might not be too bad if it can capture us into orbit like that. But it's super important that we stay flat with Leaf. I think that'll be good. Alright, so we'll do this correction. Okay, very good. All right, that's what I want, and the leaf periapsis is safe. Okay, but we're going to get there in 92 days, so let's deal with the probe. So nice having an RTG and not having to worry about the solar panels. Those were some slow seconds right there. Okay, well, that's in 38 days. Let me just double check. I don't think the plane is coming in yet, so we should be able to follow this. Uh, wait, what? Okay, I, is this the right plane? Did it already capture? Oh, it seems like it's the right one. It's got Desmi Kerman. I thought we weren't getting in yet but it looks like we have okay well that was my mistake i definitely didn't want to pass lathe without paying attention to it that's dangerous stuff maybe i was looking at the wrong periapsis 
well, there's a 1B and 2B there. And then 2A there, so we're not anywhere close to Lathe. So, alright. We'll do this burn in 26 days, and hopefully that's alright. But, seems like I've made a little mistake here, so I think maybe it's time to wrap up. So, with that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.